you know, at this point, there are some stupid people out there who are trying to say that sports shouldn't be part of politics by standing up for what's right. And while I do believe and and agree to some extent that sports shouldn't be in politics, um, we got a lot of football players basketball players and even baseball players who are most likely black who have to stand up for what's right and if you don't like the way sports is nowadays because of what happened when Colin Kaepernick at the time had to take a knee during the national anthem which back then at the time I thought it was just ridiculous but now I see my Colin Kaepernick had to do it because black people get treated way 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 differently than white people which I can tell you black people get treated differently in a bad way not in a good way and that has to do with cops killing innocent black people such as what we have going on now since last year um a guy named george floyd and back in 2014 there was another guy who says i can't breathe and he was put in chokehold by a new york city police officer i think his name is eric and he was one of those people who got caught got my attention because you know i hate seeing black people getting treated like that and it's been this way ever since and you have the nerve to say i can't tell you how many people have said to me i don't watch anymore it's not about the game anymore and i tend to agree if you don't want to watch sports anymore that's fine you don't have to watch sports but when your teammates are most likely are in support with their human brothers and sisters and by human brothers and sisters like black people who are in your team Brett then you gotta understand that black people in general get treated extremely extremely worse when it comes to pol- the way police officers across the country even today have treated another black man and we just had enough black men as of this year getting treated very badly and the woman officer who treated the other black man differently this year has stepped down for her job because she felt that it was the right thing to do and you know what people have the right to be to be mad at her for it because what she did was not the right way to do it I mean, come on, instead of reaching out for a gun, you should be tasing the person. If you didn't taste the person, then that means you're not doing your job right. And these officers should never have that job in the first place. Look, if anyone knows anything about unwanted and unsolicited messages, it's Brett Faith. The problem is not the racism, it's those damn protests of the racism, Brett Faber. And it's political when he weighs in. Yeah, exactly. So I don't get get why he would make that point. Brett Faber was out there sending nudes to women while married and taking money for speeches he never made. So yeah, miss me with his thoughts on things, love. So basically, Brett Favor doesn't get why Colin Cabernet took a knee because Brett Favor is a privileged white dude.
privilege with rich white dude who plays golf the, the former guy. Got it. Well, I don't even know anything about this guy. I really don't. Palmer report. Red Faber keeps professing his love for domestic terrorist Donald Trump. Yet, he says athletes should keep politics out of sports. What he means is that he thinks black athletes should keep politics out of sports. Faber is such a racist. We, what we need is him to shut the fuck up. And that's exactly right. We need him to shut the fuck up. Because he really doesn't get the the way the police brutalize black people these days. Jamal Bowman. Desmond Howard, a black man, was MVP of this only Super Bowl Brett Favre ever won. Almost 90% of Brett Favre's passing yards were to black men. This shows why integration is necessary, but not sufficient. Integration alone can't fix this ignorance. We need an anti-racist education. Yes, Jamal Bowman, you're right on the ball here. We need an anti-racist education, and we need it now. Too bad our school systems are all across the country, including in Massachusetts, are still broken these days. Hopefully that changes soon. I covered Brett Paver when he sent unwanted picks to Jet employee Jennifer S- Sturger, along with lewd voicemails slash text. She did nothing wrong, never even met him, and yet she was the one who was vilified and cast aside. The squirrel is still tiny and myopic. But Ryan Horvath, Brett Raver wants to keep politics out of sports, except for the 25 media hits he, that he does per week where he will bring up politics when being asked about sports. I know, he's such a dumb dude. Really. He is such a dumb dude. The sport that allowed Brett Faber to take care of himself and his family is just... two and a half black. Two-thirds black. Those black men and black people across America can't look away. It was never just about the game. It was also just about getting a platform to give a voice to the unheard. Yeah, and that's something Brett Favor doesn't understand. Just because you're a football player, a baseball player, a basketball player, or a hockey player, doesn't mean you shouldn't have a you shouldn't get a platform to give your voice to the unheard. You know you're racist when if seeing black football players protesting the unjust deaths of black folks and it bothers you because it's too political in your eyes. I mean black teammates really didn't like Brett Paver because he's always ra- been racist. He's just more vocal now. Yeah. I agree, Miranda Ross. And I'll probably read one last tweet before I go. But John Papalos, Brett Faber reminding us one more time what stratospheric privilege looks like when it continually doubles down on itself instead of shutting up, having empathy, and trying to learn something. Yes, I agree. And that's something some people just don't understand. If you don't understand why football players, basketball players, baseball players, or even hockey players, or soccer players even, have a voice to speak out on what what has happened to their own community. And by the way, most of these players are black people. And if you don't want them to 
have a voice or to or to show solidarity then you are way out of the line if you are against black people if you don't stand up with them on the way things are nowadays then clearly you don't have a right to speak and red paper he doesn't have the right to speak because he doesn't understand why his black teammates have a right to be the voice for the unheard as well as standing up for what's right. This is why Colin Kaepernick had to take a knee during the national anthem. And it's not just because of Donald Trump. It's because of these damn cops who who think they know their technique every day because they're on the force for like 10 to 20 years or something like that. And they think they can like stop a black person by actually killing them when they have done nothing wrong in the vehicle. And you kill them for no reason at all. like. If you're gonna, like, stop a black person for doing something that they probably shouldn't be doing, you don't use a gun to kill them if you're trying to arrest them. You use a taser, and neither of any cop in the world, especially what, especially what have happened last year and right now, as of this week, it needs to stop needs to stop right now and that's why people like Brett Pater should not be the voice for the voiceless or be the voice for the unheard he should sit this one out in the sidelines and let and let his black teammates do what they do because they have seen this all too much and they have see experienced this on TV and we will never get get something done unless everybody is on the same page for once. And until that happens, we will continue to fight for what's right. And as a black man making this video, I'm gonna ask is that you sit in the sidelines and don't speak about what's happening in politics in sports nowadays.